Genesis chapter 1 verse 26 says that we are created in the image and likeness of God. Now, the scriptures are not being redundant or they're not simply repeating themselves when they say image and likeness or uh, image salem is that Hebrew word and demu likeness. Image and likeness are two different things. Image is something that we do not lose. Even the, despite original sin or our own sin, we do not lose the image of God that we're created in. We can lose the likeness of God because we're not being Christ-like. We're not being righteous like God, um, right? But um, I'll just break down what actually uh, is the image of God, what, what abilities we have. By, by being in the image of God, in the Salem, means we have self-awareness. We have a conscience. Right? We can numb our conscience, but we have that conscience. We have that self-awareness all the time. We have personality. We have free will. We have rationality and stewardship or dominion. And uh, right, we're called to have dominion over, over the earth, over the fish, over created things, over the animals. That's what it says in Genesis chapter 1 verse 26. But we are not Lord. We're not Dominus. Uh, we live under the Lordship of God. And right, that helps us to, to exercise proper stewardship, proper uh, dominion. Uh, right? And helps us with our, uh, our free will. Right? If you continuously sin, you might feel like you don't have free will. Or uh, if you continuously sin... You don't know right from wrong. So your conscience is being numbed, right? So, you, But you do not lose that image of God because image of God also means that you have an immortal soul and you cannot lose that. You cannot lose free will entirely or rationality or conscience or consciousness. Uh, just self-awareness, right? You can't lose that. But... To be created in the likeness of God, which is the demu, uh, those are things that we can lose. Uh, and through the fall, we've lost that spiritual perception, right? Or wisdom, counsel, knowing what's right and wrong. We've also lost that royal dignity, that self-worth and communion with the holy trinity we've lost those things through sin and we can go further down the scale if we continuously sin but we can grow in the likeness of god be christ-like um, through god's grace through cooperating with his grace that initiating grace that he freely offers us that he gives us we can reattain that likeness of God. Now, why do I speak about image and likeness of God? Because to be created in the image and likeness of God is, uh, is a gift, is an innate God-given gift to us. Now, we need to be good stewards of life. And though we have dominion over created things we do not have full domination over determining when uh, life ends right through um, assisted suicide or through abortion we cannot simply determine when life is going to be uh, done with because life is sacred so brothers and sisters i hope that this helps you understand a bit more of the uh awesome call of being created in the image and likeness of God.